Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on today's video. So during the week we've already done <clears throat> an import of our model to Navisworks. We've clashed it, we've timelined it and today I've just done a quick animation of uh, some of the assemblies in here. So if, I were, if I'm to play this, you can see that we can animate the movement of our uh, steel members here so these two sort of main rails and two of these sort of smaller ones so that's all i've done for now just to sort of demonstrate that we can do that so if you see my other animation videos you'll understand how to capture keyframes and move elements and then move time and then slowly build up a, an animation set of of all of these uh, members coming in so the idea of doing the animation is under the timeliner now so if i just move this over we can get and I need to choose the columns for it, the animation. So now I can assign an animation according to the assembly number, which is how I've done my animation. So assembly 14, 15, 16, and 6. So 14, 15, 16, and 6. So if I scroll up, so 14 is here, I can animate, i just stretch that out again. I can animate 14, oh. okay, and then 15 is 15, 6 is 6, and 16 is 16. So now when I simulate that, so it's probably a bit hard to see now, it looks like the, the timing, so let me take off the transparency. For construct. So with the, the timing all here, you need to line up, I guess, the dates and the time and the time that it takes for the animation to attach itself to uh, the task that's in the timeliner. So if we switch back to animator, then I can see that it's only spread out over 10 seconds, yet the animation, or the, the timeliner that we have for this is spread out over, uh, I think, a few days or something. Okay, so it's only within the one day. So again, it's going to be quite quick. So you will have to take into account that these, again, the timing of them will probably need to be adjusted uh, to suit the uh, length of the animation. Can also have a look at the animation behavior. So there we go. So match start. So let's see what that does. So again, the timing of it is a little bit out of whack. So we will need to play with some of those values in there uh, and then see uh, how we can line up these animations. But Ultimately, if you do the animations, we can link those to a selection set or, or a task within Timeliner. So hopefully this has given you enough insight to let you go off and do it on your own. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos. And I will see you tomorrow for some QTO. Uh, and that covers our Advanced Steel and Navisworks week. So thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.